Blue Jays hosting the Orioles, a battle of the AL East, and the Orioles are plus 122 on the money line. The Blue Jays are minus 143, over under nine runs. The Orioles getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 164, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win, while the Blue Jays laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 136, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two. Now, these are the overnight odds. They are going to change by first pitch tomorrow, but it's what's available right now. Both of these pitchers did pitch against the opposing team this year. Gibson went seven innings, one run, one earn. They won that game 6-2 to two in Toronto. He struck out five. The Orioles are four and six as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and 5.6 strikeouts per game in those games. And his last five games more specifically, the Orioles are three and two as a team. He has a 3.2 ERA. He's averaging six innings pitched in those games. He gave up two earned runs in his last appearance and struck out five, three earned runs and struck out eight in the game before that, five earned runs and struck out one, two earned runs and struck out 11, and then four earned runs and struck out four in the game before that. For the Blue Jays, Bassett pitched once, three innings, eight runs, eight of which were earned. They lost that game 11-6. to six. That was in Baltimore. He struck out five in that game. The Blue Jays are 6-4 and four as a team in his last 10 appearances. He's averaging five innings pitched and 5.3 strikeouts per game in those games. Now in his last five, this is a tale of a different pitcher. Four and one with an ERA of two. The He's averaging five and a third innings pitched. He gave up two earned runs and struck out six, no earned runs and struck out five, two earned runs and struck out five, three earned runs and struck out four, three earned runs and struck out five. Now, head to head, the road team is seven and three, the Orioles are seven and three, the underdog is seven and three, the underdog on the money line, the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is eight and two. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under has hit in their last two. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the under-9 specifically is 4-3-3. Three, and three. The last series they played was a three-game set in Baltimore, and the Orioles took two out of three, winning 11-6, 3-1, and 4-2. The Orioles this year are 5-1 and one against the Blue Jays. The Orioles are looking like they're going to be 2-2 two and two in their last four games, and... Six and four in their last ten. They're playing right now against the Yankees and they're absolutely crushing them. They lost six to four to the Phillies, then beat the Yankees one nothing, then lost eight three, and I believe it's nine two right now that the Orioles are up on the Yankees. For the Blue Jays, they are six and four in their last ten, three and one in their last four. Beating the Dodgers eight one, beating the Angels in back to back games four to one and six to one, and then losing today three to two. I understand all of these numbers are saying that the Orioles should be the smart pick, especially considering that they're the underdog and considering that Bassett did struggle against them. But Bassett is pitching much better now than he was then. I'm going to take the Blue Jays with the money line. I'm going to take the Orioles getting the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.